let's get right into it okay. because right now we're playing the hype at our radio station 3fm yeah um and i was really wondering when you talk about a hype what is it that you're actually talking about what type of hype well i think the reference in the song is basically just kind of about music and creating and the people around you sometimes people can just say that something's really sweet uh and it's not so i think in this in the creation of of trench it was trying to just shut off pretty much everything around us and um and not really let in opinions even if they're really positive because sometimes you just don't really know um and so there can be a hype around something that's not really that great and um trying to just keep it as um downplayed as possible and kind of between the two of us and and a, and a few select people i think was the way that we really wanted to do it um yeah. so because i know you guys always try to to keep the team small and to stay focused on uh on the vision that you guys have uh has there been a time where you afraid that 21 pilots was going to be turned into a hype yeah i i think if there was any time it probably would have been between those two albums um You know, we've been a band for a while, and then our album Blurry Face uh, got pretty big, and um, I think there was a little bit of a little bit of pressure to, you know, it's like you want to make something better, yeah. um, but then it's like, do we do we just do kind of a continuation of that, or do we do we try and like dive in and find the things about that album that really worked and try and just do it again, or or try and accentuate that? Um, But I think that the way that we've always kind of operated is making music that we really like. And so we wanted to make sure that we just continued to do that. And, um, and again, sort of shut out um, the hype of, yeah. of what people thought that it may be or, or trying to find a formula that, that works universally and, and, um, and just create songs that we really enjoy. Yeah. Because I know there has been a moment where you guys decided to take a step back, yeah. to just reflect and let life happen. So you have new stuff to write about. Was it like a scary decision to make, to to take a step back? Because everything goes so fast, and you feel like you constantly have to be in the eye of people. Yeah, I. There are people even that you know, if if I haven't, if musicians or actors or whoever that I kind of just know from afar or just follow or enjoy, if I haven't heard from for like. Th two months I'm just like <laughs> they're gone that's it I, I and then you you know because things move so fast you kind of it's easy to forget about something um, and then you're like oh yeah that band or that artist I forgot yeah. it's been it's only been a couple months since like that I've heard their song on the radio or whatever so it definitely was scary mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of pressure even to just post on social media on you know to tweet something you know some people it's like if i don't post three times a day then people are gonna forget about me and or or get a couple times a week in yeah. um so it was it it was definitely very intentional and uh and it was it was scary yeah. uh, there were kind of like a few times where tyler and i both were like should we is this what we should do should we should we say something should we do something um But ultimately, it was kind of a really something that we discussed in like 2013. It was something that we've always kind of like wanted to do to experiment. And so, kind of halfway through that sort of break, we were like, "Let's stick with it." And um, this was something that we that we made a, a decision to do, and we'll we'll ride it through, and, and we'll it, see how it goes. Yeah, and it worked out for the better because you had amazing stuff to work with when it came to the album yeah i think it definitely social media is great and i i love it but just like a lot of us it can be very time consuming and, and distracting and so to kind of push that away for a while it was really good yeah. it, it was really uh you know i encourage a lot of people to do it even just for, even if it's just for a day or for a couple days or a week Because, I mean, I was about to say, you guys have such a loyal fan base. So if there's like a band that is able to do that, I mean, it has to be 21 Pilots, right? With with the fan base, with like the the very intense fan base that you yeah. guys have. I mean, that was another concern. Uh, I, I I know that we have the best fans, but 
there is you do wonder like hey if we do go away for too long um are they gonna go away too that was something that you know we did keep an eye on engaged throughout the process but they didn't and uh and it was it was cooler than ever to to kind of like come back and be in this band and be a part of this experience with all those people who did stick around and who were very much involved yeah. throughout the whole process and, yeah. and uh, I'm very thankful. Yeah. And then right now we're at a festival. Everybody's very looking forward to to, to the to the show. Um, the hype, we, we talked about it. That is like a very perfect song for a live show. Is that something that you guys keep in the back of your minds when you're creating new music, how it will resonate when you're live? Yeah, I think that's that's such a huge factor uh, that goes in Even one of the first times that I met Tyler, I went over to his house and he was like, oh, I want to show you this this idea that I'm working on. Um, and this part of the song, like, we can do this and, and like, totally thinking live. And I don't think that's changed since then, uh, just because I think that that's, um, it's like our, really like our favorite place to be is, is playing live shows and um, and really trying to make it better from show to show and you know after every show that we have conversations with kind of our core crew and how can this improve and that that wasn't right and this was great and then you have your fan base who tells you what you should perform and what you shouldn't they do and that can get confusing sometimes too because if we did listen to everything that everybody said then we'd be on stage for four hours yeah. probably yeah. Which is fine. <laughs> Give us a four-hour slot, I guess. We'll do it. And then the last question before I let you go. Um, a couple years ago, you already performed at this particular festival. Um, what would you say to, in this case, the Josh of four years ago when it comes to playing live? What would you say to him right now? I think I've learned how to breathe better during uh, <laughs> the set. I, uh, I think a lot of times when we get nervous, we tend to kind of hold our breath subconsciously. And um, I still do that a lot. And I still get, you know, festivals in particular, I get nervous before. And so when, I, when I'm playing a set at a festival, mm -hmm. I find myself more tired and, and a little more out of breath. And I think that it's because I've been holding my breath the whole time because I'm so <laughs> nervous. So, um, so now I think we've done more festivals and I've learned more and I, I almost have to tell myself to breathe. Yeah. Um, so I would just say, breathe more. Thank you so much for your time. Good luck Thank tonight. You. Thank Thanks. you.